Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how duplicate detection works on Azure Service Bus. And this is one of a series of videos that I am planning to do on Azure Service Bus. So first let's get started by creating a Service Bus namespace on Azure. For that I am going to click create here. I have already created a resource group. I am going to search for Service Bus and click create. Here I am going to call it uh, location UK South is okay and when you work with duplicate detection you at least need a standard tier service bus namespace and because of that I'm selecting standard tier and then I'm going to click create all right my service bus namespace is in place now I'm going into that resource and this is the container for my queues and topics so here I have an option to create a new queue I'm going to call this the queue, the name of the queue and the max queue size is 1 GB and this does not really matter for this demo. And here we have the option of enabling duplicate detection. If you don't see this, check whether you have created the service bus namespace in standard tier. So let me click on enable duplicate detection and as you can see, we have a option to select the duplicate detection window. So basically how this works is that when you send a message to service bus queues, you have an option to specify the message ID property. When you have specified this, service bus queues can detect duplicates. Basically if you send a message, let's say a message ID with 1, 2, 3 and if you enable duplicate detection and window 10 minutes. Service bus queues will discard all the messages that contains the same message ID for the next 10 minutes. Also, when you define this detection window, the minimum that you can go is 20 seconds. As you can see, the duplicate detection time window span anywhere from 20 seconds to 7 days. So for this demo, I'm going to go with 1 minute and I'm going to create this queue. Now if I go into queues, and you will be able to see the queue and here we have some information about the queue that we have created and here you will see the duplicate detection window is one minute. Now if you go into this tab service bus explorer and this is a tool that you can use to interact with the queue. Now we have three tabs here to send messages to receive the messages that are already in the queue and to peek the messages. And for this demo, I'm going to show you two ways to send messages. One is from here and also one is from a C Sharp application. So first let's try to send a message to the queue. Here we can select the content type. I'm going to select JSON and then I'm going to paste a sample JSON here. And then if you expand these advanced properties, you will see this message ID. Service bus queues uses this message ID to detect duplicates. So basically you can send the same message and that won't be detected as a duplicate. But if you enabled duplicate detection and if you send messages with the same message ID, service bus queues will consider those duplicates. This is a string so basically you can go with a GUID or a hash of the message or something like that. You can decide it based on the requirements of your application. Here I'm not going to specify the message ID. Let me try to send the message now. Alright. Now if I go here, we can see that we have one message in the queue and we can receive it. As you can see, we can view the message as well. Now one interesting thing here that you can notice is that when I sent the message from the UI, it automatically added a message ID. Now let me go back and paste the same message and now I'm going to specify the message ID. Let me put 123 there and I'm going to send it. As you can see, we can view the message here. Now I'm going back and I'm going to send the same message with this specified, the same message ID that I sent before. Alright. Now if I go back to receive tab, as you can see, no messages are here and that is because we have duplicated the message ID. Now if you wait for a minute and that is the window size that we have specified, you will be able to send the messages 
with the same message ID. All right, now after one minute, let me go back to send and let's try to do the same thing here. As you can see, we are receiving the message. Now let me go back to the namespace and I'm going to show you how you can send messages with a C Sharp application as well. Now let me copy this connection string and I'm going into my Visual Studio and here I'm going to paste this connection string and this code sample will send the same message to the service bus queue. And here as you can see we are creating this message object and as an input it takes a string and we are passing a JSON and here this message has a property called message ID and we can set it. Now finally let me run this and show you how this works as well. Alright, now if I go back here and click refresh, as you can see, we are getting the message. This is basically what you should know about when you work with duplicate detection on Azure Service Bus queues. If you have any questions or comments or anything that you want to learn about service bus queues, let me know down below because I'm planning to do a series of videos on Azure Service Bus. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today and thanks for watching.